Okay, folks, back at one of our favorite spots to start the herping week. I've uh, gone a little bit of a ways so far and haven't come up with too much, but we've got a little ways to go, so keep you posted if we come across anything, and once we're done here, we're going to go and try somewhere else. So check back in a bit. All right, so not too much going on at this spot, so we're going to move to the next, but I did manage to check the spot where we found the large python last week, and there is fortunately no deceased python and no sign that it had actually ever been there. So pretty sure it's moved on and hopefully it was actually doing fine and just needed a rest in a shed and uh, got to somewhere safe after we left it. So that's good news. But no snakes, no other herp so far, but we'll keep at it and check back in when we find something. All right, everyone. So we got our first snake of the day. And for those who've been watching the previous videos, you'll probably know what this is. And for the newbies, this is the redneck keelback, one of Hong Kong's most common snakes. It is, as I've mentioned before, a rear fanged venomous snake. So technically actually quite dangerous from a venom toxicity standpoint. Practically speaking, they're not very prone to bite. And even if they do, they have to get their rear fangs in and then they don't have typical venomous snake venom glands that are surrounded by muscle which can squeeze and inject the venom. It actually kind of drains a little bit more like a duct um, down through groove teeth and into the wound. So they have to chew you for quite a while. Uh, and the other unique feature about these snakes, again as mentioned before, is the fact that they can actually secrete poison from a gland on their neck. And the gland is right around where the red and the olive green head meet and overlapping both. And if you look closely, and if we can get it in focus, um, you can actually see there's a, a groove on the back of the neck. And that's actually where the glands are located and they'll burst and you'll see a milky white substance come out. And that's actually a poison that they'll sequester from the toads they eat. So quite an interesting snake actually. And again, quite common in Hong Kong. So. I think uh, not too surprising that of all the snakes we find today, this is on the list. And it's a warm day today, which is great, but we're coming up against a cold snap tonight. So not sure how the rest of the week's going to go. So it's a pretty good thing that we found this guy. Um, I'm going to let him slither off, but good find to start the day. You can see now he's doing his defensive uh, posture where they flatten out their neck like a cobra and raise their head off the ground. Uh, it's actually a pretty cool threat display, but again, not much bark to the bite, or not much bite to the bark, sorry. So we'll go ahead and let this one go and keep on moving and see what else we find. Check back in in a bit. Redneck keelback number two, and this one is a sub-adult. He is pretty healthy looking and very pretty coloration and he's going right into that threat display flattening out the neck like a cobra um, a little bit difficult to keep a handle on him but very very pretty example of the redneck keelback and great that we found a second one already this is pretty quick after the first one so Probably going to be a redneck keelbacky kind of day. If we're lucky, we'll find some more. And if we're super lucky, we might even find some other species. But pretty happy we found this guy. Had to run around him in front of a little leafy section, and he popped out the other side. So sorry for the drop in feed. But last glimpse of this cool character and his beautiful markings. Look how bright the red is and the beautiful checkered patterning all down the body there when he flattens out into his threat display. Really great example. And the sub adults are always, always fun because they have the black and yellow coloring around the neck. Still some of those juvenile colorations even though the head's gone olive and the rest of the body is actually moving in the direction color-wise of an adult as well. So. What a beautiful example. All right, 
off to find the next one. Third redneck keelback of the day. This is also a sub but leaning much closer to adult now, and I'm not going to film him too long. He's going to make a break for it, so let's uh, just see him off, but kind of cool. Third one of the day. There he goes. No other species yet, but that's still pretty good, I think, for mid to late November. Well, let's keep going. We still got a ways to walk. Maybe some more in our future. Check back in a sec. All right, folks, getting to the end of the walk now. I think uh, this will be where we end up today. We have a shot at some other snakes for the next few hundred meters, but then we're pretty much at the end. So I did manage to come across this which based on where we are, where I found it, and the scale count on the head, general shape and length, I would say we're probably looking at the shed of a common wolf snake. I can uh, give a link to that species from our website, hongkongsnakeid.com, and you can check it out for yourselves. I'll chuck a photo in here as well. But won't count it as a snake, but still pretty good sign that they're still out and about. I think, like I said, we're going to get a cold snap tomorrow, so not sure how the rest of the week is going to go, but for today, not bad. Uh, three snakes and a shed. So we'll, we'll hop back on if we find anything else before the end of the walk. Otherwise, we will check back in with you on the next run. Okay, everyone, we're doing a night walk, trying to get ahead of this cold snap that's coming through, but it's already starting to chill down tonight, so not sure we're going to come across much, but we're going to give it a shot. And I think if it gets really cold by the end of the walk, it may be the last chance for the next few days to find something. So who knows, the week may end here or we could have a good night. So we'll check back in either way to either close out or update if we find something. Okay, everyone. We have our first snake of the night. And we're pretty far along on the walk, so I'm not sure how many more we'll get. But... This is the bamboo or white-lipped pit viper. And in this case, we're looking at a female. You can tell because they're actually missing the characteristic white stripe on the upper lip that is only found in males. And she's in ambush mode right now. She's just up on this ledge here and waiting for a gecko to come running by so that she can snatch it up and then slither back into the brush. So these are actually one of Hong Kong's more hardy snake species, and I find them all the way deep into winter, sometimes on very cold and windy nights, and it's actually pretty cool and windy tonight too. So of all the snakes to find, this one's not a shocker, um, uh, but I am actually happy we found anything. Uh, there was no guarantees of that. So you can see how cool they look in ambush mode, and here, because of how she's set up, I can get a pretty good angle on her, and I'm hoping that it's... Uh, focusing okay for you guys but really really fun find hopefully we'll get maybe one or two more but we can circle around and take a look at her from a couple different angles before we head out so this is what it would look like to an unsuspecting gecko right before they get taken out and then as you can see there she's just up on that ledge ready to do her thing Very, very cool. All right, off to find the next one. All right, everyone, out for another night of herping. We uh, closed off the last session without finding too much more, but gonna give it one more shot. The cold fronts come in, so it's quite chilly. I don't expect much. I know I say that quite a bit, but it is the end of the year, and in this case, it's, it's true, there's not a lot going for us, very warm, very dry, or very cold, very dry, and a little breezy. So we'll give it a shot, uh, see if we can't come up with one more before the end of the week, and if not, we'll close it out. But I thought I'd start with an opener on this very cool Katie did. I'll depend on our audience for species identification again, but um, they're pretty cool, good size, and you might be able to hear some of them making some noises around us. Oh, there he goes. All right, back to it. Check back in if we find something. All right, folks. 
very early pickup. Here we have a common wolf snake, Lycodon capucinus. And as the name indicates, it is one of the more common species to encounter in Hong Kong, though I think this is its feature on the vlog. So, super fast start. This isn't normally a stretch where I find too much, but good sign for what we may be able to find tonight. I did find a shed of one of these guys earlier today as I was doing a hike with my son. So they may be active right now, despite the cold weather. And you can see here, they're a pretty diminutive little snake. Um, they're non-venomous. Here's a size reference. Um, they're non-venomous, but they do like to bite. And they do like to musk. And I got a little bit of both just now. <laughs> so... Um, we're not going to mess with them too much. This is end of season. I want um, I want these snakes to be able to get their nutrients. You can see he's having a little bit of a fit. Um, but yeah, really interesting snakes. Um, this one is, I'd say, about maybe 15 to 18 inches long max, uh, which is a, a pretty good size for the species. They don't get much bigger than this. I have seen some that are meaningfully bigger bigger than this, but this is about as big as they go. And yeah, great start to the night. You can see a little defensive behavior. They do rattle their tails in the leaves sometimes like a lot of snake species do. And yeah, they've got maroon colored bodies with light yellow to sometimes bright yellow markings all down the body. In this case, it's pretty heavily modeled. Sometimes they have a bit more of a pattern. But great species for us to start the night. All right, now I'm optimistic we might uh, we might do okay. Check back in when we find the next one. Okay, next snake of the night, unfortunately, is a desiccated burrowing rufous snake. I'll chuck a picture of one of those up here. This looks like it could be a black phase. I've only got yellow phase on uh, good photos, so it would be interesting to find a black phase. But this is a relatively common snake, but not seen that much because it's a, a semi-fossorial, sub-fossorial snake, which means it spends a lot of its time underground. But this one got stuck out in the open and didn't do too well for itself. So we won't spend too much time on this. Not a pleasant find, but it is a snake, and it is part of the way things work out here. So... We'll keep at it and see if we don't turn something else up. It's still very early. We're just a few minutes past the first find, so still optimistic. Check back in a bit. Okay, everyone, it's been a long walk, and unfortunately, that little wolf snake at the start was the only snake we found. So not too surprising and not really a problem. I wasn't expecting to find anything given the weather conditions, but I think we're probably going to wrap it up for the week with that wolf snake and I may keep at it uh, until the weekend and see if we can't add something else, but I expect this will be the close, and probably if we do find anything, we'll add it into next week's vlog. But been a, a bit of a slower week this time around. Still happy with the result given the time of year and the conditions, but we'll look forward to maybe a little bit of rain in between, which would be great, and possibly a slight warm-up next week, uh, in which case we'll probably be able to come up with a bit more. So thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed watching. And we'll get back with you again next week.